My name is Sean. Uh, you would know me by my YouTube handle, SL97AQ. And I thought I would start by showing a video of my model building room. So I'll show you that now. So this is my work table. I'm gonna step back a bit, get the chair out of the way. Ah, and this is better because then you can come into my model building room from the big entrance. So that's the entrance of my room. It's a pretty small room, but I have some model supplies here. This is my big box of spray paint. I, as you can see, I have a few models in progress in this corner. Plus, I always save sprue tree parts for paint tests. And this is the table on which I build my models. I use the constructs to build that little tripod for the camera. And I usually set it over here so it can see properly. And that's the uh, 537 Enterprise A. Before I deployed, I glued it together and I left it upside down once everything was aligned. I didn't want to touch it. And forget that, that's all storage. But these are the models I have already built. More supplies. And more model paint, including the Martha Stewart Pearl. But the first, the first new model I built was the Botany Bay Thousand Scale Enterprise. I built mine as a second pilot edition. And then I built the Thousand Scale Refit, the, I guess it was the 2009 edition, the one that came with Aztec decals included. And the next one I built was the 2500 scale Enterprise C. And then I restored my old uh, 2500 scale Enterprise D from 1994 from the, from the three ship Enterprise set. If you take a look, you'll see that I have, I still have the stand from that, even though I only have one of the ships. So if you focus in on the stand, I built this in 94. See, there's the Galaxy class. There's the, that's the original series Enterprise. That's where it once was. And you turn the stand this way and you should have the plaque for the refit Enterprise. Well, or the Enterprise A. And, of course, my other ships are, I built the original Monogram Voyager from 1995, and I restored an old 1400 scale Enterprise C, I mean E, E, that a friend gave me. And then down here is the, the two Enterprise B model kits that I ordered from Cult TV Man back in February. And over here are the folk art paints that I bought from Walmart, which I find work really well as touch-up paints for the Tamiya products. And these are the Martha Stewart pearl paints that I use to paint the Aztec decals so that they have the pearlescent effect. See if you can see the pearlescent effect on the Star Destroyer. Ah, somewhat in the shadow. So as I move across, you can see the pearlescent colors come up on the Star Destroyer. Particularly there, right in front of the weapons. And the bridge tower as well. But I did learn with the Star Destroyer, use less, way less green, way less pink. Just stick to the Gold Mother of Pearl and the Jetstream Blue. Those are the two main colors to use, and then it turns out wonderfully. And the last thing to show you is, out, out of my model room, is the shelf full of model kits. <clears throat> my shelf full of model kits. A lot of Star Trek, of course, but there is a few space shuttles. And then you get into some fictional model cars. A lot of model cars here, NASCAR and everything. And then on the bottom, you get into some of the Star Wars kits and 
a few fighter jets and helicopters. And there's one more thing to show you. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Actually, there were two things to show you. I have the cabinet that has the 50th anniversary 350 scale Enterprise and the Enterprise refit. I have the Kelvin. I have the Tamiya space shuttle. I have the older, well, I guess it's the older now, Excelsior model kit from AMT. But it is the 2016 edition. I'm going to get the 2020 edition. The model kit that started it all for Star Trek. This has the 50th anniversary sleeve on it. If I pull it out, you'll be able to see. Ah, there we go. See? 50th anniversary sleeve. And that's why the printing is in gold for Star Trek 50 years. And then you have the Seven Ship Enterprise set. And the F-104. But this is my other cabinet. This is my cabinet of fictional TV and movie cars. So you have the DeLorean Time Machine. You have... Oh, I could take off those labels. Just give me one minute. Okay, I'm back again. I just had to turn the model kits around so you can actually see them. So I have the DeLorean Mark IV. I have Herbie. I have two Volkswagens that I can adapt into other Herbies. Acto-1, the 60s Batmobile. Knight Rider, the original 1989 Batman model kit. The original 95 Batmobile from Batman Forever. The Austin Powers car. A Chevy Nomad that I can build red, like Jill Taylor's in Home Improvement. Christine from the horror movie. The Mammy Vice Testarossa. The Fast and Furious Honda Civic. The Smokey and the Bandit car. The Starsky and Hutch car. Dominic's Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious. That's the first model car I ever bought. And the Grease Lightning car. And there's one more thing to show you when it comes to model cars. And one last thing, when it comes to model cars, I can show you the model cars I've already built. Brian's Eclipse, the Miami Vice, Daytona Spider. I built this one as car for the rider. The Mark III DeLorean from the, with the 1950s tires. The Mark II DeLorean that flies. The Mark I DeLorean with optional lightning rod. Uh, 1974 Herbie with the front floodlight and 1982 Herbie 32 scale from the TV miniseries. So that's about all I have to show you about my model building room and everything. Pretty well. I think I pretty well got everything. But it's, it's a small space, but it works. It allows me to... And I have a big bin. I have a big bin right here that I use for spray painting... The model cars and I just got the thousand scale discovery asset decals from the hdamodelworks.com but I remember watching the videos online about the incorrect placement guide so I'll have to download the one with the pink numbers and it will tell me exactly which decals go where so I don't have to guess like I did with my 2500 scale Discovery Enterprise. But that's about it. That's all I really well have to show you about the um, my model building. Be right back. So hopefully you can see me in the chair. So this is probably how I'll introduce most videos, and then I'll I'll show whatever I'm working on next. As you can see, I have. Lots of model tools available, and I'll show you what I've built. You know, I'll try to do videos where I show I built this section this week of this video and so forth. It'll take some time, but it should work out all right. So, talk to you later.